What was Saturday like for you? You obviously got involved early and often, had a heck of a game, second best game as far as stats go in your career. Um, just what was it like you and DeAndre working together when it got in a rhythm for you guys? It was just good to be able to connect with each other. You know, uh, we've been working hard all week, um, connecting with each other, and it paid off in the game. Where do you feel you've made the most growth this season? Is it consistency game to game for you, or what is it that's kind of helped you bring the consistent effort you've had week to week? Just being a leader for my group, you know, for the young guys, and just being that older guy that they need. You guys, uh, Clemson's obviously have had a great run the last couple of years. Um, defensively, what do they do particularly well? What challenges do they present to the wide receivers? I mean, they like play man to man, come in your face, um, you know, try to be physical and uh, blitz, so it's going to be a challenge. Is it, I mean, how much fun is it to get to play in games like this? I mean, this is what I live for. I live for these type of games, and hopefully, this is what everybody else lives for. And um, it's a challenge to come up to it. When, when you hear you guys are a two-plus touchdown underdog at home, does it cause a little fire in the belly? Does it cause any emotional response, or do you just put that out of your mind? I mean, um, we all just got to line it up. They got to come and play. We got to come and play. And, um, they, they, we was the underdog versus Miami, but we still lost. But look at the outcome. And uh, I feel like we could play anybody once we put our mind to it, and go out there and play and execute. And uh, we're going to see you on Saturday. Coach Taggart said yesterday, people were saying, oh, you, got, you guys have a lot of tough teams coming up. And he was like, well, they got to play a tough team too. Do you like that he's got that mindset and to carry it throughout the team? Yeah, I mean, we're not no pushover. We're a tough team too. We just had some, uh, some ups and downs. I feel like we're on the rise now. So, yeah. What do you think's made the biggest difference for the offense in recent weeks as far as kind of getting it going and being more consistent and snap to snap? Going forward and not going backward. Uh, you know, the first few weeks was having too many penalties, pre snap penalties, or um, big plays and plays coming back. Um, now we're eliminating those, and now we're going for and uh, starting to score in the red zone also. Between, like, from the end of the first quarter, I know you guys got some slow start, but from the end of the first quarter until, like, into the fourth quarter, I mean, you guys were averaging, like, nine yards a play or something. How much confidence does that give the offense? I mean, it's good because, you know, um, all year, fast-paced offense, you know, um, it's all about big plays, and now we're starting to make these big plays. Everything's starting to pay off, and we all see how it's really supposed to be. And, and how how excited were you guys for Cam uh, to finally break one, and, and what can that do for the offense if he gets going? I mean, that was really exciting, having one on our backs, um, have a big game, first time this year. I mean, it gives everybody confidence, the O-line, the coaches, the play caller. See the ball's getting spread around like it was. I think 11 different guys caught passes on Saturday. How much does that help kind of take the focal point off an individual like you, for example, when you're having a good day? I mean, it's hard because uh, it's hard for a defense because, you know, you don't know who's getting the ball. Everybody can catch it. And everybody can run routes in place. So you can't focus on one guy and try to bracket that one dude because you got another dude that might get the ball and take it to the house. So it's really, it, it really uh, works against defenses like Clemson.